like, you look just like our type. For fun, obviously. So why do you donate blood? We interviewed the people involved, so you can help next time. What the blood drive's all about? First, let's talk to Ms. Wells and find out. Give us a brief description of the blood drive. So usually the blood drive occurs in the fall and the spring, and we have a certain specific goal, like the number of pints of blood that we're trying to collect, and we ask students to participate in that. We also seek out community members and schedule like appointment times, and students come out of classes, and that's pretty much what happens. Why should people donate? Um, well, one pint of blood can assist up to three other people, and there's a variety of ways that they can assist them. So, like, there's uh, platelets, and there's um, white blood cells that can be used, and then there's other blood products. So, it's always good because you can assist other people. And then on top of that, about 20% of all donors in the United States are actually in this kind of age range that high school kids are. A lot of times, if you donate for the first time when you're a high school kid, you will be a lifetime donor. And what should people know before they donate? You should get a good night's sleep. You should eat a good breakfast. You should drink plenty of water. Um, you should just make sure that, in general, you're feeling good and that you're having a good, healthy day on the day that you try to get blood. And what would you say to get more people to donate next time? Um, that... You'd be surprised at the people that need the blood that you donate. It's probably your neighbor, it's probably your grandparents, it's probably your friend. These are all people that need to donate and they're people that live right here in our community and you're definitely directly impacting those people when you donate blood. Right. Key club members are the ones in charge. Let's see how they feel about it. What's your job when you're running the blood drive? So we um, schedule appointments and we call community med members around town to uh, schedule them appointments and we set up like the tables and the chairs for the day of the blood drive and we just check people in and encourage people to sign up and the blood. And why did you want to work it? Um, I'm in Key Club and I'm an active community member and I think it's a good choice to donate blood, it's good for the community, and I can't donate blood, so it's my way to help. Why should students want to join Key Club? Um, we do a lot of community service, and it's just a really like awesome thing to just be a part of the community and do like your part to help everybody there. And what would you say to get people to donate next time? Um, so we give out shirts sometimes. This time it's um, a $10 gift card to Amazon. So nice for the holiday season, and um, it's just like a really good thing to do. Um, a lot of people need blood, and there's a shortage, so like, it's just a good thing to do. Now let's get our info straight from the source and find out how the donors felt. Why would you want to give blood today? Um, mostly for the $10 Amazon gift card, I'm not going to lie. But Gwen offered the idea of saving cute little children, and I like that one too. To help other people. What would you want to let others know before they've donated? Um, if you're nervous about donating, make sure to get a buddy to sit with you while you donate blood. And also, singing Taylor Swift songs while you're getting pricked is pretty nice. Not pricked, needle, whatever it is. Um, don't be that nervous because it's not that scary. And what would you say to get other people to donate? Mm, there's $10 Amazon gift cards, and you're saving little children. And you know what? You get bragging rights afterwards. But it's, you can say, like, I gave blood. Did you try and give blood? <laughs> Um, you're helping save people's lives. So. Now you know everything that goes on at the blood drive. Make sure you donate next time. More of the nightly news. See you next time.